Hi guys, just going to uh, talk you through uh, forehand and backhand looping uh, against backspin and topspin. Starting here with the forehand loop against backspin. Uh, again, a good example of seeing the waist turn, the shoulder turn, and the definite uh, saluting motion and forearm snap that I'm using to add to the pace and spin of the ball. It's uh, very obvious how the free arm is being used to help my balance. And now just moving to the backhand, just showing that there's plenty of backspin on that ball. Again, nice square stance. Back going down between the legs, not going to the uh, outside of my left leg. Good cocking of the wrist there to give myself that extra little bit of wrist snap and to hit cross court versus down the line to go more down the line just a little bit of turning the shoulders to uh, help me get down the line and facing a little bit more in that direction but essentially I could really go in all down the line uh, down the middle or cross court from that position and uh, not not a small follow through but not an extensive follow through really moving and pivoting my arm around the elbow joint there uh, not a lot of lifting of the actual shoulder itself and just staying loose and mo mobile with the feet moving now to a full table view again just demonstrating but there's plenty of backspin on that ball and this will give you a little bit of a better idea where the ball is landing on the table and uh, the overall flight of the ball uh, one thing it's possible to note I guess from this angle as well is that I tend to perform my particular loop with a relatively bent arm um, certainly not fully straight uh, if you watch it in slow-mo you'll see it's, it's not exactly at 90 degrees through the whole motion either but there's definitely a bend in it that's just my own comfortable uh, technique plenty of arc, plenty of spin not trying to get one centimetre above the net um, which corresponds to the fact that I tend to have a spin loop rather than a speed loop uh, the rubber I'm using on this particular bat is just the Dr. Nabao Domination 1.5mm on the Matsushita Pro Special Blade and again moving to now just the backhand side and you can see that the actual backhand stroke is nothing fancy just really get the bat down below the ball cock the wrist down and snap the wrist up along with the forearm movement to produce the power and spin keep it simple so that there's less to go wrong really just trying to use that elbow as the pivot for the stroke rather than too much shoulder and just now moving to the side view uh, the side view will give you a better look at the feet and the bending of the knees and also uh, here because I'm lifting against the backspin how my torso is a little bit more upright um, at the finish of the stroke and the legs are, are helping me push up through the ball a little it's also good to see where in terms of my backswing where that bat is going how it's going back low and behind my right leg and relatively in line with the knee really and then coming up and through uh, it's also a good chance to see how if you were watching slow motion the wrist is being used just to add to spin but not, not trying to change the angle of my bat just to snap the bat within the, the direction it's already moving uh, free arm being used as well and now onto the backhand side and you'll be able to see here that really performing from a, a fairly square stance uh, certainly not going to a backhand stance here staying fairly square uh, it's another good opportunity to see and just concentrate on where my bat is actually getting taken back to um, 
and you can notice that it's really dipping kind of between the legs there and uh, then being snapped up at a relatively 45 degree angle even perhaps a little higher and uh, if I was swinging outside my left leg or in line with my left leg I wouldn't be able to get the bat back in there I'd be actually hitting the left leg Okay, now we're going to have a look at the, the topspin version of the stroke. Um, gives you a chance to compare. Because I'm no longer needing to lift the ball so much, uh, I'll be able to maintain my forward lean a lot more. The actual stroke itself will be a little bit more forward than upward now. But again, the legs are nice and wide, knees are bent. There's a good waist, good shoulder turn, good use of the free arm. Uh, not too much dipping of the right shoulder, which is good. I'm slowly improving on that. So just a good shoulder turn rather than a unbalancing the dip of the right shoulder down. Watching the ball right onto the contact of the bat and a good saluting motion through. And now on the, the backhand side again. Just blocking a couple. And again, worthwhile just paying attention. You can see now that the backswing is actually, uh, at the end of my backswing, it is actually much higher than against uh, against the chop because I don't need to lift the ball so much. And the forward motion, the stroke is actually a little bit more forward uh, than uh, obviously against a backswing ball. Still not a lot of shoulder rotation. There's not a lot of shoulder rotation needed in this stroke. And keeping good wide legs Good balance. And now let's look now just at the full table view. And uh, you'll notice from this angle that because of the way that I hit my loop, there's usually uh, a good six inches, maybe even nine inches of clearance over the net usually for me uh, that's because my loop is more of a spin loop than a power loop uh, which goes along with my game good head movement and watching that ball fairly closely onto the bat and the key is here is if you're balanced hitting in all three directions having the choice is easy because you're not limited to certain directions and that's all part of having a good basic stance that allows you to choose at will whatever direction you want to go and moving on to the backhand side and really just with a minor turn of the shoulders and slight adjustment of the feet position uh, it's very easy for me to go in all three directions down the line down the middle or across court without having to um, perform any sort of gymnastics on my body to um, bend myself in awkward directions and it's just part of the part of the idea of having if you have good solid fundamental setup it's easy to go in any direction that you like whereas poor footwork poor stance tends to limit your options and if your opponent gets to know that then of course you're in trouble because he, he knows which direction you're likely to go in moving now to the side view. Uh, worthwhile here probably comparing this view to the uh, loop against backspin. You'll notice the stroke is actually a little bit more forward than uh, the version against backspin. Still finishing quite high in front of my head. That's just part of my own saluting motion. You can especially notice that the actual backswing itself is is a little bit higher than against the uh, backspin ball. The uh, position is probably a good six, nine inches higher, the uh, end of my backswing, which just reflects the fact that I don't need to lift the ball as much. And moving now to the uh, backhand version. And again, probably worthwhile just comparing 
here where the actual backswing uh, the end of the backswing is not quite as low as before a bit more around the waist level the swing is a little bit more forward again easy to see here there's no real not a lot of hip rotation not a lot of shoulder rotation very much a pivot around the elbow and a little bit of upper arm involved in my playing arm but basically very much a pivot around the elbow and a wrist snap involved in it I've added these in just to really give you a demonstration of uh, if you have a decent stance and the fundamentals how much easier it is to perform these looping techniques and recovery under pressure uh, you can see here the pace is actually quite quick and until I start to run out of breath at least uh, I'm maintaining my form quite well as I tire you'll notice that especially on the uh, forehand in the middle the stroke gets a little bit shorter as uh, I get a bit tired and now the same just in a side view uh, again easy to see here that how the feet are moving the waist is moving around and the, the, the legs are, are basically allowing me to recover fast get the hands back get back to a neutral position for the next shot uh, you'll also notice towards the end of it as I start to really run out of steam how the forehand from the middle of the court really starts to shorten and become almost I almost have to lean to get out of the way there I go and again just as I'm getting tired and not really getting in position 